So today I'm going to be doing my friend Sienna D's makeup, a simple gold cut crease. If you want to see how I created it, just keep on watching. Taking the burgundy from the palette, I'm going to focus that on the outer corner only and then I will begin to blend it into the inner corner but lightly because we don't want it all over the lid we just want it on the outer corner just to give it a nice dimension into the crease i'm going to begin to cut her crease and as you can see i'm really taking my time to make sure i get as sharp and as clean as possible to cut her crease, I'm using the Allegra Pro Concealer in the shade Almond. Like I said, all the products will be in the description box below. I'm taking the concealer way above her natural crease because when she opens her eyes, I still want you to be able to see what color she has on her lid. When I get the cut crease in the shape that I'm looking for, I drag down the concealer just to tap off some of that excess concealer from the top so that the cut crease can be smooth. I'm going in with my fluffy blending brush and I'm going to tap off more of that excess concealer while blending it into the outer corner. I'm just removing more of that excess concealer because when I put on the eyeshadow, I don't want the concealer to be wet because then it will be patchy and it won't be blended well. Then I'm going in with another fluffy blending brush, but this time I'm going in with some gold eyeshadow because the lighting changed. You can't really see that it's gold, but it is gold and I'm going to tap this all over that concealer that I put down on the lid. I'm going back in with some of that burgundy shade and I'm just going to blend it back into that gold I put down just to make everything seamless. I'm applying some glitter adhesive just so the glitter can have something to stick to. I'm going to begin sticking down some gold glitter onto her lids and really making sure I press it in slowly just to make sure that it sticks to the adhesive underneath it. Then I'm going with a smaller brush just to make sure all of her lid is covered with glitter. Then I'm going in with more of that adhesive just to stick some chunky glitters on the lid. With chunky glitter you don't want to stick this all over the lid because it gets the eyelids pretty heavy and she doesn't usually wear makeup so to have glitter on your lid then plus chunky glitter is a lot so I don't apply much of this on her lid. So I'm applying some liner and what I do is start with a pretty thin layer so if I make any mistakes I can always make it thicker and it wouldn't be too thick. I'm doing the same thing to the other side, just applying some of that glitter, then I will begin to apply some of the chunky glitter afterwards. I 
I use my hands and not a tweezer because I find that I can get closer to the lash line this way. I'm going to begin re-cleansing her face with some witch hazel. I already cleaned her face before I started her makeup with witch hazel. Witch hazel has a lot of benefits. It can regulate all production in the face. It can also tone and reduce the appearance of blemishes on her face and make her face look even more radiant than it already does. I'm just applying some foundation to her skin. I had to mix two different foundations to get her perfect shade. It looks orange right now, but as it oxidizes, as I blend it in, it will become her shade. I'm going to begin lightly tapping her skin with a foundation brush. It looks like I'm swiping, but I'm actually just tapping. You just want to tap it lightly as well because you don't want to stir the primer that you applied underneath that. So I'm just going to blend out her whole face and then I'll do her brows and her forehead afterwards. Because I know she has sensitive eyes, it can't go underneath her eyes with the big foundation brush. So I have to use a smaller fluffy blending brush. So that's what I'm going to do. Just to blend out that foundation under her eyes and between her eyes and her eyebrows. beginning to sharpen up the top of her brows just to make sure everything looks very clean you want to take your time when you're doing this just to make sure you get it very straight and you don't take off a chunk of the eyebrow Because I ended up using so much foundation under her eyes, I didn't use a concealer. I just went straight in with powder. So here I am dusting some powder all over her face just to set it. Then I'm going in with some bronzer just to bring back some warmth into her face. She already has a pretty slim face so I didn't go in with contour. I only used bronzer. I'm going underneath her eyes with the same red I used at the top just to even everything out. I'm going to add some gold into the inner corner just to add that extra just that extra pizzazz that the look was missing. Y'all already know we all have highlighter. Like we need highlighter. We need it. So I'm just going in with some highlighter on her cheeks, just to make everything pop in. She wanted a red ombre lip, so I'm beginning to lay her lips with some brown lipstick. Then I'm going in with my angle brush just to clean up and sharpen up that line. 
Then I'm going to go in the middle with some red lipstick. I'm beginning to spray her face with some setting spray and then I'll begin to pat it in just to make sure any cakiness or any harshness is gone. So this was the finished look and she was popping period look at that smile honey